Good afternoon and welcome to our daily update from Howland Road Baptist Church. Really great to see you uh, joining in today and we do hope that you've had a good Easter weekend. As we gather in this Easter Monday, John is going to bring a devotion from God's Word. And then it's going to be a prayer time where we're going to give you some time to pray through certain things. And then we're going to have a song and to finish off our time together today. So it's going to be slightly longer than some of our daily updates have been. But we do hope that it's a blessing. And please feel free to dip in and out of it for as much or as little as you want. Over to Johnny now for the devotion. Across the world today, many people are fighting against a great invisible opponent. And as many, if not all, great war heroes know, the greatest and most difficult opponent to beat is one that you cannot see, one that you cannot hear. And as I was reading 1 Samuel chapter 16 to 19, just this morning, I was struck that there was an incredible invisible opponent that met on this great battlefield so many hundreds of years ago. The Philistine people had been oppressing the nation of Israel because the nation of Israel had wanted to be like the other nations. They wanted a king to rule over them, even though God was their king. And yet Saul hadn't proved to be a godly leader. Saul had disowned his Lord many times and had failed to follow the word of the Lord. So God would send Samuel, the spiritual leader of the people, to a little town called Bethlehem in 1 Samuel 16. And in this little town, he would go to visit Jesse's family and Samuel would go through all of the brothers until he would get to the youngest, to the weakest, to the most unlikeliest. God would choose little David to be the next spiritual leader of the nation of Israel. But in this context and in this time, all of David's brothers will go out to face the Philistines and they'll be greatly intimidated by the great Goliath, the giant from Gath. And day after day, he taunted the people. Day after day, he shouted out triumphalistic language that there was no one could defeat him or the Philistine army. The question is, would God abandon his people? Even though they had abandoned him, even though they had rejected his word, would God rescue his people? Well, little did Goliath of Gath know that on that day he was not really facing David, this little boy from Bethlehem. What Goliath didn't know was that that day he was about to face the invisible warrior. That day he was about to encounter Yahweh himself. Now you say, how? Why did Yahweh show up this day to face Goliath? Well, God is always faithful to his promises. And he spoke to Abram, who later became known as Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, verses 2 and 3. He said, Abram, I will bless those who bless you. But those who curse you, I will curse. So many years later, when Goliath taunts the children of Israel and he curses them and he hates them, little does he know that he has roused the unseen warrior, God himself. And that day, David would testify even before Goliath would be slayed. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 47, David says this, The battle belongs to the Lord. And I want to encourage you today, if you are a Christian, that whatever circumstances you find yourselves in, that God is with you. God is our unseen warrior. And so even perhaps today that you may not be able to see him working and you wait for him to move in a particular circumstance or across our world with this terrible pandemic. Could I encourage you with 1 Samuel 16, 17, 18 and 19 that God, God himself is our unseen warrior and he's always working even though 
many times we can't see him. And could I challenge you today, if you're not yet a follower of Jesus, that your greatest opponent is not going to be a giant from Gath called Goliath. Your greatest opponent isn't even COVID-19. Your greatest opponent is again something that's invisible, something that you cannot see, but you see the manifestations of it. It's the problem of sin. And one day God would raise up another person from Bethlehem. And this time it wouldn't be a man called David. It would be a man from David's family tree. It would be a little boy born in Bethlehem. Truly God and truly man. And he wouldn't stand in front of Goliath from Gath as the great opponent of God's people. No, he would be hanging on a cross against the greatest opponent the world will ever face. The problem that's within all humankind, the problem of sin. And that he himself, Jesus himself, would defeat the opponent of sin. So could I encourage each one of you today to not look to some superhero within you, but on this day to look to Jesus, our great warrior, and to turn to him in these days while he may be found. I'm going to hand back to Keith who's going to pray for us on this Easter Monday. Well, thanks, Johnny, for that devotion. And during prayer time, I thought it would be good to have some opportunity for you to pray as well. So I'm going to raise a few prayer points and then leave about 30 seconds or so for you to pray through it. Firstly, I thought it would be good for us to give thanks to God for Christ. is what we've been celebrating this Easter, that God has sent a rescuer to die for us. So let's take some time to pray through that. God, we thank you for Christ, our rescuer. Father, thank you that he has defeated sin, sin and death and that we can know new life in him. Amen. Secondly, I thought it would be good for us to pray for those in our families, friendship groups and communities who don't know Christ as Saviour. So let's pray for them now that God would open their eyes to the wonder of who Jesus is. Father, you know all the names that have been prayed for. And Father, we do pray that you would move in mighty power in these days. In Jesus' name, amen. And thirdly and finally, a chance to pray for all those on the front line who are working in the NHS and in care homes and in other vital services. So let's take some time to pray for those who we know and those who we don't know who are working and caring for people who have COVID-19 right on the front lines. Father, we thank you for the many people who are serving others at this time, who are putting others before themselves in the NHS and care homes and frontline 
services. Father, we pray your protection upon them, your blessing on them. Would they know daily strength and help from you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we're now going to have an opportunity for you to hear a song. And please do feel free to join in as well. Thank you for joining us for our Easter Monday daily update. It's been slightly longer than usual, but we do hope that's been an encouragement uh, to you. So let's just close our time in prayer. Father, I do thank you that the battle does indeed belong to the Lord because we are unable and inadequate to fight this battle on our own. Uh, this battle against sin and Satan and the unseen forces in this war. So Father, thank you for all of your goodness and all of your help. In that. And Father, we do pray that as we continue in our self-isolation and social distancing that you would help us uh, to do that well. Uh, Father, I pray that you would be teaching us things in these days that we would otherwise not have learned. In Jesus' name, amen.